Hello crafty friends, it's Erica Scrapdiva29. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming on today with a design team package from the KS Craft Store. They have a new release and it's amazing as always. Uh, so let's jump on in. We're going to start with this die set right here. This is actually a gift box um, and it has a few different options as far as like the panels, but this is the side. So you'd probably cut this out, let's see, two, four, six, probably eight times. And then you have the panels that you can layer with hearts or X's. How cute is that? Or X's and, yeah, X's and hearts. You could do every other one or you could just do all hearts. That would be really, really fun. Um, this gift box measures almost, it's a little over six and a half inches in the height, just so you have an idea. Definitely check the store example to see what it looks like. It's really, really cute. And then it also comes with these tags, these little gift tags that you can stamp a sentiment on. Super, super cute. And see, this is the base of the gift box. So it's a really big gift box, as you can see. I mean, that's pretty big. That's the base. And then you have the side panels. So um, that is new in their store. And then moving along, we have some sentiments. And these are adorable. They read hug in a mug, coffee and crafts, but first coffee and then thanks a latte. And the do you have a shadow piece that is stitched, which is adorable. And this is a set of four. And then the next die set is a coffee pot memory decks card. And it looks like you can turn it into a shaker. And this is the base. And this is definitely a smaller memory dex than what I'm used to, but it's adorable. And again, if you did not want to create the memory dex part, you wouldn't have to. You could just use the coffee cup and use that as an embellishment. So you could do like coffee and donuts theme or something like that. Super, super cute. Like, I love that one. And then moving along, they have this adorable gingerbread cup. You guys, this is so super, super cute. I fell in love when I saw it, and um, so basically you get the base piece right here that creates the cup, then you get layering pieces, you get the face, the bow, there's the little swiggly lines for the gingerbread, um, boy or girl, um, there's a bow tie, a bow, there's a straw, you get the piece where you can layer the gingerbread and also create the shaker. So let me just show you what that looks like because I had to put this one together. I mean, look how adorable this is. Oh my gosh, so cute. And I'm so sorry for the glare, but isn't she adorable? Now for the eyes, I did use the little black beads that I picked up off AliExpress and then I just used some enamel dots for the cheeks. And then um, I just used some sprinkles on the top. This is the bow that it comes with, the little swirls that all comes with the die set, and then the little mix. Um, you can get those little peppermints from the KS Craft Store. I added some little snowflake sequ sequence and some little pearls in the mix. And then on the side, I stamped this sentiment. It says, Christmas calories don't count. And I tied it with this really uh, dainty gold uh, twine that I have in my stash. Um, this stamp is from Lily of the Valley. Um, I did pick it up off of Etsy. I will leave the product information in the description box below if you'd like to check it out. But I just recently got it. It, called, it came, I think, all the way from England or the United Kingdom. Um, and I got the stamp set and the digital version, but I mainly got the stamp set so I could stamp it in different colors. And um, I don't know, I just, I like having the actual stamp. So I just decided to purchase both because with the digital version, you can blow it up as big as you want versus stamps, you can't, it just is what it is. But anyway, I think this is adorable. I love it. This would make anyone happy. Um, I just love this one so much. So that's new. And then moving along, we have this die set right here. And this was uh, released in their previous release, but they didn't send it to me. But this is a little Santa, and he is stuck in the chimney, if you can see that. And it has some little snow, it has the boots. Super, super cute. So let me show you the example. I was definitely inspired by the sample that they had in the store. And um, I just recently, you know, I've been playing with this Simple Stories Phil and Frosty paper collection, and I just had to try one. I just thought this was so, so cute. Um, I did black glitter cardstock, um, the white glitter cardstock, and then the polka dot like snow paper in the background, and then the ho, 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 that is a die from my stash. 
and I just turned it into a sticker and I just stuck it on top of the acetate and now I have this adorable little um, embellishment ready to stick on a card. This would be so cute on like a mini slimline card. I mean, it could definitely be a Christmas like tag or something like that because you could stamp a to and from. You could cover all that up and, you know, turn it into a little gift tag. That would be adorable as well, um, especially like even if it was like a secret Santa or something like that. That would be fun. But I really love this embellishment. I think it's adorable. So that is in their shop. And then moving along, let's see. We've got a few more. Okay, so this next one right here creates an angel. Yes, you guys, an actual angel. So it's like a rosette, but you cut it out and you you fold it on the um, embossing lines and it looks like this. Voila, isn't she adorable? So the KS Craft Store is selling these little beads um, in the store, and I think it's in the same link as the angel. The beads look like this. They have the little faces on them, um, but you can create a basically an angel. She looks like a snow angel to me. Um, what I did was I cut her out of red cardstock. I did cut this out two times to get um, the larger dress if you will and then the little side pieces i just cut out twice one on each for one for each little side tied some ribbon on the top i just put a bead cap on the top of the bead and then i put a jump ring for like the little angel halo and i want to say it was cutesy shelf's picture i haven't watched her video yet but i'm pretty sure it was her picture in the KS Craft Store, and that's where I saw the idea to add the little jump ring for the halo, which I thought was adorable. And then what I did down here is I decided to add a double layer with that gold snowflake paper to just create a more interesting angel dress, and I think she's so pretty. Don't you guys think? I love that. And I could have went back and did like a two-tone right here on the little, um, like the little hands, I guess, or the wings, if you will. Um, but this was the first one that I made. It's not perfect, but I think it's adorable. This would be definitely really fun to do with a child, a really fun kids craft. And then on the back, I just have this stretchy twine that I get from Hobby Lobby. And I just decided that this would be really cute to hang in a Christmas tree on a, as a Christmas ornament. Uh, so that's what I did right there. I mean, obviously you don't have to do that, but I think it would be a perfect little Christmas um, ornament in a tree. And you could do like a whole theme of them if you wanted to, or a whole family of angels. It would be really, really pretty. Um, so what a fun die set. Very, very creative. I've never seen anything like this before. So I'm really um, loving that one. And then moving along, let me see. There's tons of new dies. So we have this one right here, and this is um, a lollipop die set. You get the swirls, the layering pieces, the little sprinkles, really fun set there. We have this, uh, it's like a retro slide. So they have this medium sized one and then they also have a larger version. Where is the larger one? It comes in a larger size too, if I can find it. Oh my goodness, what did I do with it? I'll find it in a second, you guys. Oh, here it is. I'm like, what happened? Um, this is the larger version, and as you can see, it's quite, um, it's definitely bigger than the smaller one by a lot. Uh, let's see, I have my ruler. This one is about four and a quarter inches in the length, just so you have an idea. The smaller one is about three and a quarter um, as far as the, the, the length. So that is new in their store. And then they have this adorable little rocking horse and it's a rocking horse memory decks themed um, card. So you could definitely do a baby themed memory decks. That would be really cute for a baby. And it has all the little layering pieces. And then we have some val more Valentines. We have this heart border, which would be really pretty on a slimline card. We have this Next die set, which is a video game. It looks like a Nintendo video game. Um, you guys remember these old school video games? So that's what that one is. Then we have a heart globe that's new in their store. This one is adorable and it says love you as a sentiment. And then you get the hearts and then the globe piece. That one would be really cute to put together. Love that one. 
And then the next one they have in their store is this one, and I've already taken it out of the packaging. But these words read Galentine, and it's in a large, they have a large Galentine and then a smaller version. And then they have this diamond ring. This diamond ring is so cute, and you can totally turn it into a shaker, which I love. And I just think that's really, really fun. So I'm really loving this set right here. And then moving along, we have this little gnome. He is a Valentine's Day gnome. And he's got some really cute little hats and some different options that you can uh, play with on this one. And then you also get some sentiments. Let's see what the sentiments read. Love and be mine. How cute is that? And then you got arrows and balloons and just lots of different little pieces that you can use to embellish your little gnome. Super, super cute for Valentine's Day. And then let's move along. There's a couple more. We have this junk journal uh, foil sentiment sticker seat. It's 528 pieces. There's lots of sentiments on here. Smile more, kind words cost nothing, enjoy today, dream big, as you get the idea. So that is new in their shop. And then they have this very slim like latte cup with a straw, which is super cute. Looks like there is a, um, a large one and a smaller one. And then we have this set right here. This is a set of gift boxes. It comes in the large and then it also comes in a small. So there's a, a large version and also a small version. And you get all the layering pieces to create this box. It's really, really cute, you guys. And then it also comes with a tag and then a layering piece for the tag. So you can layer the tag like that. And then you also get a star tag and a Christmas tree tag. And then you have um, a layering piece right here for the front of the box that you can layer right here. And so this one comes again in a large version and in a small version. And I'll definitely come back and share what that looks like. And then we've got uh-oh, I just dropped that. <laughs> this one right here, and this one is adorable as well. And this is a coffee cup with a heart spoon. Super, super cute. And you have one cup going to the right and one cup going to the left. And then you have these spoons that you can uh, stick on the cup. Adorable for Valentine's Day. And then they also have a smaller version of that cup as well. And that's just to kind of compare in size, if you can see. Um, and I think that is it. That is the new release for the KS Craft Store. I will link everything in the description box below. Of course, if you have any questions, just ask. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. I hope you guys are getting ready for the holidays and family and lots of food, because I know I am. And I will check you guys out in the next video. Bye for now.